Hello, this is Elson. Welcome back to our play by email for Shokum Heinen. Now we got the combat replay for Journey 4th, 1942. Let's get into it. All right, now we get to see if we manage to hit his convoys and get away. We are so low on fuel, it's scary. I mess up by leaving that on full speed for the second turn. Took whatever reserve we had and this like threw it in the garbage can. Not a good thing. All right, so we take Tandersan or well only but we should take that this turn. Okay, for movement. Nice. Okay, getting some more of our SW forces up in the north there. All right, looks about done with the night phase. Not much going on. No subs going on. Okay. Naval movement phase looks like pre task force unloading, task force pass, mine sweeping, naval movement phase. All right, looks like the K 18, no, K 8, takes a shot at one of our destroyers, probably the ones, one of the ones doing the Ambon force. Tight 95 depth charges suck. Getting near them though. I penetrated. Internal explosion. Damage the engines. Severe damage is taking on water. Very nice. It's got the golden BB. This is deep water too. We shouldn't have got him with one of those. We got lucky. Maybe the Dutch do not uh, go as deep. But that's nice. We'll take that all day. That means that sub's pretty much out of action for a while. And we took Sorbet out so we can't even play it. Pair. We'll take it. But all the Dutch subs are hanging out in the area. All right, let's fast forward it to these spottings. Daily bombardment of Park Field. Keeping the damage up, we'll take that. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, still haven't got rid of the cough. All right, bombing the forces flee in Cyan. A couple of squad destroyed squads there. Decent amount of disablements. Bombing Bandanag to keep him from building forts there. Decent amount of hits this turn. Bombing the forces to the north here. Now these guys are in like wooded terrain, so probably not gonna do as much damage here. Yeah, 60. Some disablements, not uh forces north to Cyan. You see, like like that's double the casualties for like 16 aircraft versus 32, so. Terrain definitely makes a difference. Yeah, nine aircraft, six casualties. Ugh. Bomb of the forces trying to, or that little force is trying to head into Hank out. Nothing there. Sonyas just don't have much in the way of bombs. Late to the party there. All right, morning phase is done. PM phase. Right. Late to the party there. Ah, that's decent. Eight for 54, we'll take that all day. All right, more bomb and cyan. Very nice. Lots of, getting some decent amount of disablements. All right, bombing the airfield at Lashio. Ugh, terrible. That's gonna be f 
if that's any damage, I did it. Like the engineers probably fixed it this turn almost. I need to get more bombers into the area that can bomb Lashio, but. Alright, deliberate force on these forces west of Kuala Lumpur. By the one. Uh, retreating, 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 retreating. Left one of the base forces behind. He's out of supply, so. Surprisingly, even being out of supply, this is the first time he's done some damage to our tanks. We lost one and two disabled, so. All right, well, all right, so this is a deliberate attack on the guys south of Cyan. This is still decent terrain, so that's why I did a deliberate attack. Nelson's taking extra casualties when we don't have to. All right, 47 to one, should pretty much just wreck those guys. Did lose the squad disabled, but all right. Continuing our bombardment of Bandit Egg to keep supply going out. Take 36 casualties. He didn't take anything. We've had really bad luck with our bombardments. I mean, I, I know with the Japanese, but damn. Now, even here. Now, granted, we're heavily outgunned, but I just think I had better guns than I thought he did. So, the good news is he loses four. We lost two vehicles, so it's I guess is almost a wash, but. Alright, we take Tanjo Bala. All right, finishing off that artillery unit and finishing off hopefully these uh, ghost of gun bed. No, nope, still retreating and finishing off the Mysore battalion. Yep. All right. Sorbeha. Survey says or it should fall. I mean, all it's got is that coastal gun battalion. I don't think that's going to do much against the full one division. Yep, there it goes. Alright, so we capture Hello, Sorbet, huh? Destroyed one of the aviation units, I think. Got those L-12s that bombed Tetrapole. We got them on the ground. We'll take that. Today, the Imperial government announced oh, we destroyed two units. Nice. Very nice. Japanese Empire have captured we'll take Ufert. And we'll take Jesselton. Not yet. And that's gonna be it and Bangkok spans its airfield to five which is nice and Panabang expands its fortifications to two we'll take it all right let's take a look at uh, the game all right aircraft losses this turn 13 to 2 so we got 12 of the L2 or on the ground we lost another two fucking babs and ops loss we've lost so many ops losses uh, he lost a Dauntless, a Warhawk, and a Duck 24. Not bad. We'll take that. Army Paws, we're up to 17 versus 258. Yeah, so we've got 100 advantage in aircraft. Obviously, Army points ridiculous. 143 allied ships to 12. Not bad. Uh, we are in the positive. Looks like we are about 150. I believe with the capture sword, Beha, that threw us over, right? Sorbeha is worth 75 to me, yeah. So something we did enough damage this turn with the capture sorbet to take the, the flips. Uh we should be landing at Kandari next turn. Uh this guy will continue to go around to Makassar. He's going for Cold Pang, but he's loading up some more supply. I believe we land at uh Ambon next turn as well. And then this guy's going to go around and land at Colada. So hopefully the Kandari forces don't have anywhere to retreat to. So very nice. I'm looking at. So these guys will continue to pursue these guys to destroy them at turn. We will go ahead and get this sub back into Sword Bay for repairs. We'll move these DMSs in for minesweeping. This is the garrison force. Uh, these guys will pursue here and then move into Bandon Egg. And then these are on the way to Chidlap. Here. That's uh we'll pursue here to take kudat we'll go ahead and move him down and pick up the sasbo i think we will move you 
to Samarinda next. He's going to Ketapang, and then we'll keep working our way around, and then he's going to finish loading up these supplies, and then we'll land him at Trandashar. Uh, meanwhile, Tank will go ahead and finish off these guys and continue to pursue these guys. He'll head up the road. We'll finish off this unit next turn and then pursue this way. Uh, these guys will continue make their way towards Taiping. I don't want to move this guy in by himself because I just don't think he's got enough. But we're working on that. Uh, we'll st he's moving out of Rangoon, so we'll start moving in. I'll probably have my tanks move into Rangoon with the garrison and then pursue these guys north. The rest of these guys are probably going to start heading up the road towards Magui, Melikita, and all that. We'll keep the pressure on there. Uh, yep. This is the garrison force from Manila, so they'll be landing back to Nagas a couple turns. Definitely seen a lot of movement here. Movement forces. So interesting enough. He's now started moving these guys into hand cow. So I want to try. I don't want to fight them in hand cow because it's urban heavy. So I'll probably try to cut these guys off. We'll continue continue bombing them. I'll see if I can get my forces into that terrain better. The 39th division is going to go move into this guy. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move the 17th division. Uh, back down so when 39th 17th division with him moving as many forces as he has out of chang ta i'm going to put together a force as much as i can to try to move to in chang and cross him behind here so we still we don't want to move in forces this way because we want on blocking our attack out of uh indochina later like in a few months so we want to either draw the forces north or keep him in this area so we need to put some pressure on him uh we'll, we'll move into cyan you know everybody's moving to ankang these guys could move into cyan we're moving these guys up to join these guys in cyan we'll probably move this mixed brigade and this other mixed brigade over to see how many people how many troops we have here at worst i'll probably leave one see how big it is uh try to close them off where they can't move out and circle them and just leave like one mixed brigade to hold them and tie them down depending on how many of the troops they are and that's pretty much china we got probably another turn two turns and then we'll get these guys together move into wind chow and that's we'll continue moving to meet the kitty batai which is now okay so So his carriers were in this area. So his carriers, I didn't see anything that said they were spotted by aircraft. So my guess is he drove over these guys. So his, they were detected by his ASW. We didn't get shots off, which suck, but there was detection. He might've had aircraft on him, but I don't think if he was coming in to go after my carriers, I don't think he would have wasted aircraft on ASW. Maybe some float planes, but maybe not. So I have to have a feeling that these guys got driven over. So his carriers are somewhere in here. They could be here, but I doubt it. They're probably where I was. If he went through here, he could have went through here and be like cut the difference, like where I was and where I could have went if I was pursuing those other uh, task force. But we are so hurting on fucking fuel. It is hurting. Ah, uh, man. So we will continue northwest this turn. So we're going to go boom, end up over here close to Christmas. He'll probably spot me unless we get lucky with weather. But I'm so hurting on fuel. I just have to get, I, I have to cut the angle because right now we are something like fucking 69 away now we're making nine with the carriers and eight with those so that's 17 we're a minimum of four turns away so sixth seventh eighth ninth we can't refuel to the ninth 
that's a minimum that's if these guys move max which with our fuel status they're probably going to be cross-loading fuel and they're going to slow down and even my uh, i think they might have refueled this turn but i mean you know these guys are down the two so they i just haven't following me so it won't make a huge deal but yeah oh that full speed run was a hurt God, if it had been if I had fucked up and not and had like how we were planning on doing, this game would be over. Because remember, my plan was to head south, then like southwest and try to come up behind him if he was going towards Canton, right? So instead of I if I just not made it the the regular like eight speed nine speed run that I put here, and then nine here and then reassess if I'd done like nine put a waypoint in and then nine put distance. We'd be out of full fuel completely because they just wasted nine hexes worth of fuel versus 18 hexes of fuel and you see how low my fuel is oh duh, duh, duh. like i i'd be trying to like what i would have to do is like take the carriers and probably like the battleships and maybe like the heavy cruisers and stuff and i would have to like make our own task force replenish at c if I was lucky I might be able to get enough fuel to get those guys out of there and just like abandon like the light cruiser and all the destroyers but that would be better than fucking losing you know the other points um so not bad not bad uh intel 7943 that's gonna be somewhere in China not gonna be useful ah ooh Take it back, I lied. So he's moving forces directly over from Chongqing along this road. He's gonna go off road to get to Nkang. He isn't gonna beat me, but that does mean I'm gonna have to probably leave this mixed brigade here. And then reinforce with this other mixed brigade. We're gonna have to leave some forces behind so he doesn't cut off my supply. That interesting. Nice move, Yoko. All right. So this, I'm guessing we're gonna get to Ankang. We might be able to get to this hex, but I don't know if we'll be able to get it surrounding. We'll have to play. We'll have to see how much force we can get into the area. But that's gonna be cause me to leave forces behind to secure this road, right? So this might become the main thrust here. It'll be interesting. All right, uh, that's that op loss combat operation. I don't really make much of a different industry. Let's take a look at R&D real quick. Uh, one, two, three, four, five roofs. So one third of them, I think that's the same. I haven't seen much improvement here on the roofs. That's really the only things that matter right now. Like may, the Knicks and the Helens should be getting close, but still, that's it on R and D rise. Uh, yeah. So that's gonna be it for today, guys. Catch you all later.